Uh, congratulations to the two of you. What an awesome job. My lords, my goodness, I'm sitting in front of girls here. I want to know how much time you actually spent together to, because, you know, you play him in a younger stage and you're a little bit older. Did you guys learn each other's mannerisms or anything like that? Or did you, actually? It's more really a Jamie question, I guess. No, no, we didn't. In fact, I think, um, like Jamie said earlier, I think it's just uh, great casting on Roland's part, you know. And um, as the day goes on, we're discovering how similar we actually are. Um, and, and I think, you know, um, what gives, you know, my, my, my performance is so dependent on the currency that um, Jamie's performance gives is that we, the, we, we were presented with this young man who's full of optimism and energy and virility and sadly he uh, you know we, we you know my, my kind of end of the story is is that decay and um, um, loneliness and abandonment um, and it just it just seemed to work you know um, so we didn't do anything kind of Stanislavski esque or method or it, it, it just it was just a, a beautiful poetic collision. Totally worked. A bromance. It yeah. was kind of was it was at different times. Um, okay, could you even imagine that Shakespeare did not write Shakespeare's words? Could you even imagine that? I, I yeah I can yeah yeah I can imagine it. Um, you know, I think I think people tend to get hung up on the idea of William Shakespeare, um, you know, from Stratford, um, rather than focus on the work itself. Um, so, and I think it's important to actually discuss this and, and to educate people, you know, where perhaps, you know, they, they might not have heard about this, uh, you know, theory before. Um, and um, I, for one, am, am intrigued and, and, and interested, and I don't know. I just, I still just don't know. Did it make you question after you finished playing this role? Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, and, and of course, you know, my political leanings would, would want, you know, the working class hero from Stratford to have penned these great works. But I have to say, having, you know, read, I'm not an academic, but I did, you know, read extensively around the authorship question. And I have to say that the, 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 the evidence for the Stratfordian is, 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 is flimsy, to say the least. Um, however, the evidence that promotes the, the Oxfordian leaning is, is quite powerful. Um, Makes you think. Yeah, it really does. And, and I think what's important, you know, is that, we, that these plays stand alone. But, it, but in asking the question regarding the authorship, it does, it's an important question because it lets us place these plays in a, in a historical and a political context. And that really changes the, 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 the dynamic or, or, you know, the, or, or the, the emotional um, mother load um, behind, behind the, uh, the plays. Um, so, you know, People call it anonymous, I call it a spanner in the complete works, you know, and if it creates some controversy and ruffles a few academic feathers, then so be it. Yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure Shakespeare, whoever he was, would be proud. I think he would be too. Very quickly, favorite Shakespeare play? Hamlet. Midsummer Night's Dream. Mine too, that one is mine to have the same one. You guys were so tremendous in this, and uh, best of luck to you. My goodness, this is awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you so much. Thank you.